Hey VC, it's Chad. Uh, so I wanted to do a quick haul video. Uh, last month I did a mega haul. It took 40 minutes or so. So I kind of wanted to break it down into some smaller videos. I like the uh, 10, 12 minute range. So um, I picked up some good stuff so far this month. Uh, but the first thing I wanted to do is give a shout out to uh, Andy over there. At Andy's Vinyl Den. Uh, I got his uh, Tales from the Dead Wax comic today. Uh, Vinyl Richie's story is every bit as amazing as it was uh, live. Also Andrew's and uh, a couple other cool stories in here. Uh, a really awesome project. I uh, can't wait to see uh, what else they do with this. Uh, and if you could see it matches uh, the original uh, Tales from the Crypt cover so really great stuff hope you picked up a copy it seems like it's on its way to selling out so tells from the dead wax all right uh, these aren't uh, necessarily used but these are two new products I picked up online um, this is a reissue of uh, black rebel motorcycle clubs take them on their own um, Take them on your own. I always mess that one up. Um, this is their second album, and this is probably my uh, favorite of theirs. This one has been out of print, and finally it's got a reissue. The banner issued it on this uh, clear yellow. Uh, so I have all their other albums. I ha I've had this on CD since it came out. Um, this was the only one I was missing on vinyl. And they've been doing these uh, master tape recording sessions, um, releasing like unreleased B-sides and stuff. And this one is called uh, For Murder. And this is also on yellow vinyl. Uh, and uh, this is Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. Um, I got this right from the uh, band's website. It came in a few days, so um, check it out. It's pretty cool um, outtakes from uh, Take Them On Your Own record so good stuff um, so I've never had <coughs> never had any luck with Craigslist in collecting records in the last whatever long time um, but th within the last two weeks I've got a few good scores from Craigslist and uh, that's what I'm some of the stuff I'm going to show you is from uh, so what I'm listening to uh, this is a psych rock band that I picked up based on the name. Uh, I'm familiar with them a little bit um, and it's uh, HP Lovecraft and this is a first pressing on uh, Phillips uh, records. It's the stereo copy. Uh, I'm not sure if there was a mono copy or not but uh, this is like uh, psych rock pop, psych pop um, they have two albums, HP Lovecraft, HP Lovecraft 2, I believe, and then they changed their name to Lovecraft. Uh, I'm not really familiar with them after that. Um, I think some of the tracks on here people might know. I think The White Ship might be one of their hits, or I don't know how popular it was, but uh, they might have had that as a single. Uh, there's a, a great song on here. Um, Wayfaring Stranger, um, which is the first track on side A. So, um, yeah, check it out if you can find this pretty cheap. I don't know if it's been reissued or not, but uh, HP Lovecraft. Uh, the next record I found at the same spot. I was super happy. Actually, no, I didn't find this. I found this at my local record store. Um, it is the Tyrannosaurus Rex record, uh, A Beard of Stars. And this, I believe, is T Rex's, Tyrannosaurus Rex's third album. Uh, this is a gatefold on uh, blueprint or fingerprint records? Blue Thumb Records, sorry. Uh, this is a gatefold. This copy is a. Uh, a punch out so there's a tiny hole in here uh, 
it's got a little bit of wear and uh, the record is probably like VG so I'm definitely looking to upgrade this at some point but I've never actually seen this around so I, I snatched this up. T-Rex is definitely in my uh, uh, top top bands uh, of all time so uh, maybe one day when I, I do my top 100 you'll see some of the other records in there so uh, this is uh, Beard of Stars. Uh, here's another one that I uh, got at my local record store. It's another uh, jazz find, and it's uh, the avant-garde John Coltrane and Don Cherry. Um, sorry, I forgot to take the sticker price sticker off of here. This is a uh, nice first pressing on Atlantic. Uh, it's got the uh, black swirl Atlantic and lettering, I guess, the green and red green and red. I'm colorblind also. It's the green and blue. Um, this one has uh, some covers, I believe, of like uh, Ornette Coleman and Thelonious Monk on here. Um, I listened to it uh, once or twice so far. It's pretty uh, relaxing stuff, uh, like pop jazz. Um, of course, uh, I usually have been picking up John Coltrane stuff and I've heard uh, Andrew talk about uh, Don Cherry a good bit so uh, definitely I uh, couldn't leave this sit there so here's another one I picked up at a local record store uh, I've been looking for uh, these originals for a while uh, and it's the self-titled record by Elf and uh, if you're not familiar with Elf this is the first band Featuring uh, Ronald Pava Devona, I think that's how you say it, uh, also known as uh, Ronnie James Dio. So he plays bass and sings on this. Um, I don't know, I think Elf maybe has two or three records. Um, I'm not sure um, exactly, but this is their first record and it is on Epic Records. I think this is actually a, on Discogs, is a weird, maybe a repress or a later 70s, the orange epic swirl label, uh, circle, circular label, I'm not sure what they call that, but um, it's a pretty decent copy, so, and it wasn't too expensive, so I was happy to pick this up, nice hard rock, uh, like blues influence stuff, so, elf. Okay, so this is the uh, one that I got at the uh, Craigslist, and uh, I picked it up on the cover art. Um, it's uh, Green Slate. Uh, this is Time and Tide, and this is a like a prog rock record. Nothing too spectacular to me on first listen. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with them. Let me know if there's any other albums I should check out before I dismiss them. Uh, this was a pretty cheap record so it wasn't you know, a huge investment but the cover's cool uh, looks like their stage uh, setup was cool uh, this is also a punch out so but the record's really nice and the cover's cool so uh, this is uh, prog rock if I didn't mention that I was super happy to pick this up same place it's the uh, actually a few weeks ago I passed on a uh, first pressing of this because it was extremely overpriced and the record looked like somebody used it as a frisbee so but I was super happy to pick this one up it's the uh, first love record and it's still in the shrink has the some original record tag here uh, it's uh, gold labels uh, has the uh, on Electra with the uh, love uh, logo um, so it sounds really good uh, the, the, the uh, record is in really nice shape so I was super happy to pick this up it was pretty half the price of what the other uh, store was charging so I was super excited so I had asked on the uh, message board about I have the first three love records now and uh, like which ones I should go move on to after this so 
Uh, I think I'm gonna put the next three on my list, and uh, if I see those around, I'll pick them up. And then there's a uh, Arthur Lee solo record. Um, I think maybe Andrew or someone just said they saw a copy, but it was beat or something. So um, I'm on, gonna keep my eye out for those. Uh, here is a Craigslist, the first Craigslist uh, place that I went to. Uh, had some records, not too much, but I didn't want to leave without buying something, so I picked up this uh, Black Sabbath the collection. Um, this is a 2LP, and uh, it was released in the UK uh, on uh, Castle Communications in 1985. I uh, really love this cover with the skull and uh, Ozzy holding this stick with a skull on it. Actually, the photo on the back, it's basically just a blow up of the uh, Ozzy's hands right here. So uh, it sounds okay. It's got like Paranoid and Sleeping Village, War Pigs, Rat Salad, Hand of Doom. I mean, it's all uh, stuff from various uh, first four uh, Black Sabbath records. So uh, the cover's awesome. It wasn't too expensive, so I, I couldn't pass it up. The records are super, like, looked on played, so. Uh, here's one I got last weekend, actually, at my local record store. This is a band that I've uh, mentioned before, I think. Um, but this is the first EP from uh, the Mars Volta. It's called uh, Tremulant. And this was released on GSL Records Gold Standard Laboratories out of uh, San Diego and this came out in 2002. Uh, this copy actually came with the uh, insert and it's on uh, yellow vinyl. So. Uh, been on a hunt for Mars Volta Records. Uh, I mostly picked them up on CDs at the time so um, they're kind of expensive, so it's going to be a slow process of finding them out in the wild. And uh, I'm really happy to pick the first EP up. Uh, here is another psychedelic record. Um, this is on Colossus. And the only reason why I picked this up um, is because of a cover song. Uh, this is the Shocking Blue, uh, self-titled. I actually, from what I read, I, I think this is a compilation of uh, some of their earlier stuff that, or maybe just for the U.S. market or something. Um, but uh, this is on uh, Colossus Records. I always like their gold uh, and red labels. But anyways, the reason why I picked this up is because it has the song Love Buzz on it, which was the first single that Nirvana released, which is a cover song. So uh, it's a pretty cool version. Um, I don't, I think I read something about where uh, Shocking Blue said they weren't really, they thought it was too fast, uh, Nirvana's cover was too fast or something like that. But uh, it's pretty, pretty, uh, interesting stuff like kind of like Jefferson Airplane or something like that uh, anyways love buzz um, so the next finds here are my uh, top stuff that I found um, this one was the Craigslist one and uh, I was super happy to pick this one up uh, this is my third copy of this record and it's the MC5 um, the other two copies of uh, kick out the jams that I got were all censored and they actually had two copies of this record and I opened them up and uh, you know I found the uh, liner notes inside and you know it says motherfucker in the liner notes so that's almost a dead giveaway that the first side of the i mean that the record is going to say motherfuckers instead of uh brothers and sisters um so it 
you know, I was kind of like gritting my teeth about when I put it on if it was going to be a censored version. And it's not. It's the uncensored uh, LP. So uh, I was super happy to find this. It's, you know, pretty clean. Um, really great price on this. Uh, so I think there's maybe... There's a bunch of other variants that I'll pick up eventually. I really like this record. It's fun to collect um, when it's cheap. But otherwise, uh, such a great record, such a classic. So MC5, kick out the jams. Um, this was a record that I believe I saw on um, maybe like Matt Sands, I think, um, talking about it or showed it a long time ago. On uh, the psych professor um, I was really excited to pick this up it's the animated egg uh, this is a uh, like instrumental psych record um, released I don't know if there's a date on here at all um, this is a copy that was released on budget sound or Somerset I think record so it's a there was two different pressings. I'm not sure of the story, but uh, this is a uh, pressing on uh, Somerset. It's the second pressing, but I think they were released both in the same year. So um, they're kind of uh, pricey records. Um, this is intended like to be like acid rock or whatever, but uh, really great guitar work on here. Um, I'm not exactly sure who all plays on here. There's not too much information about it. I think they went on to form some other bands, but uh, there's no musicians or anything listed on here. So um, anyways, this copy looks like it was never played. Uh, there's a little bit of tape on the top, but other than that, for uh, what I paid for it, this was a great find for me. So the animated egg, really great record. Uh, back to another record. I showed this on uh, the message board, just asking about anybody knew anything about it. Um, I saw this in a local store. It was a little less than the price of a new uh, record you could buy of this, which I already have an original pressing on uh, Impulse, and it's a little beat. It's not exactly the, the best quality. Um, but uh, it's A Love Supreme by John Coltrane. And the interesting thing about this one to me was the uh, Gold Star Original Artist um, logo on the front. And there was no listings on Discogs for this. Uh, it's not a gatefold. It's a single LP. Um, it is on uh, MCA Records. So I was thinking like it was uh, 80s pressing because this actually says 1982 on here. Um, the logos are really generic, just like white and uh, uh, gold lettering and stuff on here. But it turns out that this pressing is actually from uh, uh, South Africa, which is pretty cool. There's no listing on Discogs, um, so I haven't added it or anything. So uh, if you know anything about Gold Star Original Artist label, um, seemed like maybe there might be some other cool stuff on there but I would definitely pick this up um, you know I'd pick up other stuff on here if I could find it you know for a reasonable price so but this is a classic record all right so here's my last find um, this has literally been on my want list for on Discogs for over probably two years um, and it is a record that I have on CD. I had the CD when it came out and um, I haven't really listened to it lately but uh, I was really happy to pick this up with some uh, with a caveat that I'll tell you about in a second. Um, anyways it is the very rare record The Twilight Singers um, She Loves You. So this is a LP of cover songs and the LP was released on Birdman Records in uh, 2004. Uh, it's uncensored so put a little post-it note over top of that for you. 
uh, to keep it safe on YouTube. Um, so if you're not familiar with the Twilight Singers, uh, this is a project from Greg Dooley, uh, the singer for the Afghan Wigs. And there's some cool guest spots on here by, you know, um, one of his frequent collaborators, Mark Lanigan, does some vocals on here. Uh, they do um, <clears throat> some different, really interesting takes on uh, cover songs. Uh, they do um, Hyper Ballad from Bjork. I think that's Bjork. Um, I Love Supreme. Um, Summertime. Uh, Real Love, which is like an 80s song, I think. Um, forget uh, which R&B singer that is but these are all cover songs this record is extremely expensive on Discogs I would never pay that much for it um, I found this at a local shop and I picked it up immediately it was a bit pricey and then when I opened up the record there looked like somebody keyed the whole record with swirls it was just you know I had the record store put it on and it was really noisy just the whole way through and I was crushed about it um, you know so I asked him if he would give me a deal on it uh, so I got it really like real dirt cheap um, so this is kind of just like a placeholder copy for me it was really hard to listen to just because I was like this is probably the worst record I knowingly bought that looked uh, bad but uh, just because the jacket is nice, you know, I might have a opportunity to find a better uh, upgrade at some point for cheaper. So, um, anyways, that's uh, the Twilight Singers, She Loves You. Anyways, on, as a side note for that, um, I almost showed this record as my uh, underrated record on my uh, 2018 vinyl tag. Uh, but I just wanted to show this. Um, this is a record from my collection that I listened to a good bit. It's the uh, Gutter Twins, and this is called uh, Saturnalia is the name of the record. It's a 2LP um, released on Sub Pop Records. Uh, this came out in 2008. Um, it hasn't been repressed, so unfortunately it's a little harder to find. Um, but... Um, it's not crazy expensive. It's very reasonably priced, but this record is really great. Um, this also is Greg Dooley uh, from the Afghan Wigs, and it's also Mark Lanigan. So they, you know, it's a collaboration record. So the vocals, you know, they're both amazing vocalists, but it's really dark uh, piano, kind of like, you know, like a, you know, like Afghan Wigs, Tom Waits, kind of that kind of stuff. So a uh, really great listen. Um, so check it out, the Gutter Twins Saturnalia. So that's all I got for you. Hopefully this turns out shorter than my last video. Um, thanks for all the comments and everything. Um, so, uh, I have to think of some, uh, new videos to make besides hauls, but, um, anyways, thanks for watching.